In all of the confusion, Rudder's boat became lost, and he arrived late, just as the sun rose on what one observer called the longest day. The Americans were late launching their attack, and it would cost him. Now fully alerted to the American threat, the Germans repositioned their troops to do the most damage onto the rangers at the base of the cliffs. Then came the roar of heavy cannons out to the sea. The battleship, USS Texas, with other warships, began to shell the ground behind Point du Hoc, keeping the Germans pinned down. Using rockets to shoot ropes to the top of the cliff and ladders borrowed from the London Fire Department, Rudder and his rangers made the hard climb to the top. They drove off the German defenders, then settled in to defend what they had gained. For two days, the Germans tried to drive Rudder and his rangers off the cliff, but with no luck. Eventually, the Germans gave up. There were only 90 Americans left from the 225 that had started the attack. 